Hello, friends. Hi, it's Miss Morgan. Thanks for joining me for another sing along and nature study. Today's sing along is called The Rabbit. We'll learn more about the rabbit in a minute. How about we sing? Yes. Okay, say bye to the birdies. Bye bye, birdies. Bye, birdies. Come, friends, walk with me. Come, friends, to the trees. There's so much to learn, so much to see. Come, friends, to the trees. You ready? You gonna sing with me? All right, here we go. Come, friends, walk with me. Come, friends, to the trees. There's so much to learn, so much to see. Come, friends, to the trees. To show you the bunny, the rabbit. A bunny is a little rabbit. Here's my rabbit. Here she is. She's this kind of rabbit is called the Eastern Cottontail. Do you see what's on on her? It's something white. Does that look like a little cotton ball? <laughs> Isn't that cute? That's her tail. They're her big ears. She has dark little eyes. She's kind of grayish and blackish. Well, grayish, grayish. Where did I put that? Yeah, I'm sorry, brown and brown and gray. I'm sorry, brown and gray. She's cute. What did I learn about the rabbit today? Well, here are the questions I ask myself. Where do rabbits live? What do rabbits eat? When are rabbits active during the day or night? How high can a rabbit jump? How fast can a rabbit run? These are some of the questions I ask myself when I set out to research the rabbit. What did I find out? Well, you know what? All our nature friends, there's just so much to learn about each one. I could study each nature friend for weeks. There's so much to learn about the rabbit and about all our nature friends. But here's what I learned today. Where do rabbits live? Well, rabbits can live in holes under the ground. See where I grew it? In the grass there, a little hole. I put little bunnies in there. See them? Aren't they cute? Some rabbits can dig holes. But our rabbit today, the eastern cottontail rabbit, she can't dig a hole. She can dig a little, little hole, maybe, to make her nest. But not a deeper hole like this. Only certain kind of rabbits. Remember, all our nature friends, there's not just one kind. This is the Eastern Cottontail, but the pygmy, the, the pygmy rabbit can dig a hole. That's a different kind of rabbit. 
but the eastern cottontail, she, I put a little nest here in the grass, she might find a little kind of spot under a bush or under, kind of under, under a little log or next to a garage. She might just make a little nest with grass and leaves. And then I found out a really cute little thing. When she's going to have little babies, she takes the fur off her belly and makes a nice soft little spot for them in the nest. Isn't that cute? And they live just about, well, bunnies live just about anywhere but Antarctica. There's lots of bunnies in the world all around. The eastern cottontail lives in the United States, in Ohio. I just saw two bunnies this morning in my yard, and they might live in your yard too if you live in Ohio or pretty much all, a lot of the states in the United States, the country above us in Canada, the country below us in Mexico, and the countries below Mexico some. So there's a lot of rabbits around in the world. Mm -hmm. So that's a little bit about where they live. What do rabbits eat, are you wondering? Well, they are herbivores. Can you say that? Herbivore. Try it one more time. Herbivore. Do you know what an herbivore is? Mm. An herbivore mostly, well, in fact, eats plants. Doesn't eat meat, just plants. And the rabbit will eat grass or hay or maybe, well, you know, they may eat carrots, I guess. They eat twigs, some bark. I did read they might eat snails and moths too. Hmm, that's not a vegetable. That's interesting. I might have to read more about that. As I said, the research can go on and on, can't it? So that's a little of what rabbits eat. When are rabbits most active? I learned another big word today. Crepuscular. Wow, that's kind of an interesting word to say. Let me try it again. Crepuscular. Can you say that? Crepuscular. That's kind of an interesting word. That means they're active in the early morning when the sun comes up, in the evening when the sun goes down. That's when they like to come out and look for food. You'll see them maybe if you in your yard eating the grass. <laughs> How high can a rabbit jump? Do you have any guesses? I didn't really know. They can jump up to three feet high. Wow. Whoop, doop, doop. That's high. A bunny must have very strong legs. And they can jump 15 feet long. Wow, that's pretty long. How long is 15 feet, Sarah? What would be a good... Three of you laying down. Mm, I'm five feet, so three of me. Wow, that's long. They must really have some strong muscles in their legs. How fast can they run? This was amazing. 25 to 45 miles per hour, that's as fast as a car. Wow, those little bunnies are quick. I guess that's where the phrase quick as a bunny comes from. <laughs> that's what we say sometimes, quick as a bunny. Let's go, quick as a bunny. They're pretty quick. What are some other amazing facts about rabbits? Well, I learned that a bunny, that a rabbit can see behind itself without turning its head. How do you think it does that? I didn't know that. And when I read it, I thought, well, how in the world can a bunny see behind itself without turning its head? Does it have eyes in the back of its head? No, but it has eyes on the side of its head. And so it can look forward, or it can turn its eyes and look backwards. The only place it can't see 
is right in front of its nose, <laughs> but it can see all around. And it will watch out for anything that might want to eat it for dinner. Hmm. <laughs> so his eyes are very important, huh? Let's see what other fun fact I learned. Well, that was it about its eyes. I did learn that they can have, the eastern cottontail can have up to 12 little bunnies in its nest. Up to 12 little bunnies? That's a lot of bunnies. And she can have bunnies many, many, many times during the year. <laughs> That's kind of a fun fact. Anything else? I did learn that the little bunnies can't see when they're born. They can't hear. And they don't have any fur. Oh, my goodness. And they stay in the nest for only two weeks. Isn't that amazing? They really grow up fast. And they'll leave the nest and they can take care of themselves just after three weeks. That's pretty quick. Wow, amazing little bunnies. Why are bunnies important, do you think? Do you have any ideas? Well, I learned that bunnies are important because a lot of other animals need them to survive. Snakes might eat bunnies. Eagles, hawks, owls, foxes, raccoons. Sometimes that's how nature works. Those animals need the bunny to survive. Wow, that's nature. Nature is all about balance, right? Right. If we did not have the hawks and the owls on this side, maybe having some of the bunnies for dinner, there'd be a lot of bunnies. There'd be a lot, a lot, a lot of bunnies. And nature might tilt and not work as well. And that's how nature works. It's all about balance. Right, Sarah? <laughs> well, that is the rabbit. Or I like to say also the bunny. The little rabbit. The bunny. <laughs> Maybe you can work on researching the bunny today and add the bunny to your nature journal. Sound fun? Yeah! Well, I wondered if I could sing you a song. I want to sing you a song that I wrote that was inspired by nature. You know, lots of artists, whether they're painters or whether they're poets, they write little stories that rhyme, whether they're writers of other sorts. They're inspired by nature. Songwriters are often inspired by nature. And this song that I wrote was inspired by our nature world and our nature friends. I want to be a waterfall for you and for me. I want my love and my honesty to be as pure as a waterfall, snowy diamond waters. I want to be a waterfall for you and for me. I want to overflow. I want to overflow. Watch me overflow. Yeah. I'm going to overflow. Yeah. Now I want to be a butterfly for you and for me. I want to fly high and rest in a willow tree. Not afraid of a windy 
storm Feel as if my wing is torn I want to be a butterfly For you and for me I want to fly Yeah, watch me fly I'm going to fly, watch me fly, yeah, oh, I want to be a sunrise for you and for me. Yeah. I want all my warmth and my joy to be a million golden arrows shining on a morning dew. I want to be a sunrise for me and for you. I want to shine, yeah, gonna shine, watch me shine, I'm gonna shine. I think I want to be one more thing. You ready? I want to be a daisy for you and for me. Yeah. Now I want all my doubt and my insecurity to be a petal on a daisy. Part of my beauty. I want to be a daisy for you and for me. I want to glow. Yeah. I want to glow. Watch me overflow. Watch me fly, yeah, watch me shine, Ooh, I'm gonna glow, glow. Nature is so fun and inspiring, and nature inspired that song. Well, I wrote a little song just before I got on to that same tune. Can I play it for you? I want to be a bunny for you and for me. <laughs> Wait, I need my words. <laughs> I want to be a bunny for you and for me. Yeah. I want to build a warm little nest underneath your tree. And when I'm happy, I'll jump up and down. Wiggle my nose all around. I want to be a bunny. For you and for me. That's right. I want to hop and hop and hop and hop and hop. You could make up a song like this today. I want to hop, 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 hop. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm going to hop, 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 hop. Yeah. I'm going to hop. Hippity, 
hippity hop. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. You could write a little hippity hop song yourself about the bunny. <laughs> Feel free to use that melody. The melody is the sound of the song. Feel free to use that melody to write your own little hippity hop song. Well, friends, tomorrow is Friday and we get to go some other place to learn about a nature friend. Remember, not all nature friends live everywhere in the world. Some nature friends just live in certain parts of the world. How about we go across the ocean, across the Atlantic Ocean? Maybe we could fly or take a boat. How about we go all the way to a place called Africa tomorrow and learn about a spe special nature friend who lives in Africa? All righty, we'll go there tomorrow. Okay? All right. Well, we've come almost to the end of an another sing-along. But before we sing our final song, remember to work on your nature journals. Work on your nature journal and research the bunny. Put on your research glasses. And remember, friends, remember, remember to get outside lots and lots if you have a yard or a park near you. Maybe you have binoculars and you can look closely at some nature friends up in the trees, or maybe some bunnies running around. If you don't have a yard, maybe you can find some pictures of nature because even that helps. And remember that all our nature friends are important and have a very special purpose in our nature world. And remember always that nature needs kids and kids need nature. Nature needs kids, kids need nature. From the tallest oak tree to the smallest creature. Nature needs kids, kids need nature. Become the great student of this great teacher. That's right. Open your eyes, open your ears, and sit down in the middle of the forest here. Listen to the wind, the birds, and the trees. They got a great tale to tell you and me. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, nature needs kids. Kids need nature from the tallest oak tree to the smallest creature. Nature needs kids. Kids need nature. They're counting on us to be their protectors. Balls, turn off the tube. Turn off the games. Walk outside and make a difference today. Plant a new tree. Clean up a stream. Make the fishies home nice and clean. Yeah, from the great bear to the whales of the sea, the songbirds and the bumblebees, the tigers of the east, the rainforest too. You need them and they, they need me. Who? You. That's right. Nature needs kids. Kids need nature from the tallest oak tree to the smallest creature. Nature needs kids and kids need nature. Become the great student. Become the great student. Become the great student of this great teacher. Yes, I hope you singing and I saw you dancing. Great job. Okay, friends, see you tomorrow. Same time, same place, two o'clock. See you then. Be well. Bye.